All right, Galilean relativity, 6.5. Now, actually, we've seen this all along. Um, what are we talking about when we speak about Galilean, Galilean relativity? Well, basically, if we've got one observer and another observer, both observing an event, but there's some relativity between them, either relative position or relative velocity, what is the position or the velocity of this event relative to this person and relative to that person. So we've seen this many times um, uh, already. Um, I've introduced this equation to you quite a few times, but now it's kind of an official introduction. So say now you've got this person <coughs> A, say that's kind of the Earth reference frame, and then you've got another person B, moving with a certain velocity and this velocity is VAB what does that mean we know that VAB means V of B relative to A now A doesn't necessarily need to be standing still relative to Earth A can also be moving the point is we have the velocity of B relative to A and then we have this event and as you can see, the way that we can start off is by looking at simply their positions. Okay? So what, what we'll notice is that the position of the event relative to A, that's what we have there, E relative to A. Let's rewrite this. Position of, now we're looking at positions, eh, guys? Not velocities, positions. Uh, this is a position vector R, okay? So the, the position of this event E relative to A is equal to the position of B relative to A plus the position of the event relative to B. Okay? So let's look at this now. Say so now, okay, so I'm, I'm going to redo this. Say so now there's A, there's B, and there's the event there. And say so now the event is 10 meters from A. Okay? Then we have B is, say, 5 meters from A. So what is RBE then? What is R, the position of, of E relative to B? The position of E relative to B? Simple. RE relative to A is 10 equals RB relative to A is 5 plus RBE so that's going to be 10 minus 5 is 5 meters RBE is 5 that's pretty simple right so the, re the, the, the position of E relative to B and you can rearrange these in various ways and this really just makes sense right it really makes sense so another way of looking at this is um, what is the how al, what is the other way that you can write position R A B? Well, we know that velocity of A B is equal to what? It is equal to the position. It's actually delta R A B over delta T. Right? Velocity is equal to the change in position over change in time. If that's constant. Right, guys, this is important. This is a constant velocity. Because remember, we're only looking at inertial reference frames, which are constant velocities. So, if my initial position is zero, then, then delta RAB actually is just RAB minus zero. So, this can just then be RAB. So, I can replace RAB with VAB times time. Right? Does it make sense, guys? So I'm replacing the position of this biker, uh, reference frame B, with a velocity times time, because position is velocity times time. So VAB times delta T is my delta RAB. So I'm replacing that with this. So now I can actually, again, 
find my position of E relative to A if I've got the velocity of this reference frame and the time span that we're considering. Another way of writing this would be RBE, if I'm trying to solve for this, is then equal to RAE minus VAB times time. Okay? So just rearrange that and so if you've got the position you can calculate it or if you've got the velocity and the time you can calculate this. Now, what we've seen thus far, I've been using these equations quite often. If you take the first derivative of this equation with respect to time, just take the first derivative, you will get this. Okay, but now they've just changed the subscripts. Don't be, don't be too bothered by that. All we're saying is if some object called C uh, and you've got A and you've got B, reference frame A and B, and we've got the velocity of C relative to A is equal to the velocity of B relative to A plus the velocity of C relative to B. So as you can see, this comes from this equation here. It comes from the positions, the relative position equation. And then this is just a, this is if you just rewrite it. So and now again they've used O as our object. So now this becomes O relative to B is equal to O relative to A minus the uh, relative velocity between the reference frames. Okay? So in the next exam in next video let's we'll do this example uh, 6.6